Hey you! Shut up! Give me that, give me that. Oh, you better chill. What's your problem? Nice glasses. Thanks, dude. Currently in Wildemar. We're saying what's up to Steve right now. You're not currently in Wildemar. What? You're not here. You're not in Wildemar. You're in freaking Texas. Is this supposed to be a joke or something? Where's that like broken deck of yours? That was pretty cool, huh? Let me destroy this thing. Okay. Sweet. Safety first, kids. All right, well, we've gone as far as we can, uh, but the, the blade is so small right here that it literally won't cut anymore, so should we just flip it upside down? I think we should flip it upside down. Or we can just cut it with this. Oh yeah, good point. Bye, but. We got a little bit more. Okay, I don't need to scream anymore. We got a little bit more to do. We got like, what is that, like a quarter inch? You can break it up. Uh, should we break it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess that worked. Look who's here, Walter. Hi. Why are your lights still on? This is your light. Oh, my light, shoot. I was gonna change your background to me. The hell to the no. So, here's the deck. If you guys are asking, there was no real reason of doing this. This deck was just already broken. Uh, it's Steve's old deck, and we just decided to cut it in half, so we were just bored, honestly, to be 100% honest, but now you guys can see what the inside of a deck looks like. It's kind of cool, I guess. Walter and I are going to go over and get some food. Are we going to Wings? Yeah. Ooh, uh, and Sierra. My bad, Sierra. Wings we go. Aw, oh, dang it. This is crazy, look how far away we had to park. That's wings, way over there. It must be popping right now, oh my god. Dude, look how far away we are, dude. I, I, I circled and then there was like one spot right there, but then I was like, you know what? I, I feel bad, so we park next to you. <laughs> they should have a spot with my name on it by now. We love wings, so we'll walk. Don't do it. Aw, nice guy, thank you sir. Or ma'am, whatever the heck you are. Jesus. Shut up, Walter! This is the second time in a row I've left my... Get off! Second time in a row I've left my wallet. Hey, you! Shut up! Give me that, give me that. <laughs> that was a mighty... Are you serious? Oh, yes. Oh, oh no. I don't know what's going on, but... I'm, I'm starving. I, I'm ready, if you're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's commit. Walter's being a super homie. He says he's gonna buy my wings. Alright, because I promised last time that's, that that's, I would on your birthday. That's like true bro love right there. Thank you, Walter. You're welcome. It's uh, been a while. I mean, you've been here. Yeah, with but the we camera. Haven't... You missed the camera. <laughs> my nephew loves you. Really? Yeah. Nice. Like, he wants to meet you, but I, I just. Do you want no, me to no give you some, some stuff for him? Oh. Oh, oh my god, that was super loud. It is stupid packed in here, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. That was successful. Thank you. It was a great time. It was. Nice seeing you too. I gotta go. I'll see you soon. You know it. Alright, well it's currently the next morning. I ended up going over to Mackenzie's aunt's house last night and hung out with Mackenzie. She's, she doesn't usually come here on her school nights. What are we watching? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. The second one? Mm -hmm. Chamber of Secrets. We're watching Harry Potter and we're gonna eat. That's our dinner. Anyways. So YouTube has been changing. Um, I've, I've noticed like a huge depletion in the, the popularity of scooter content. And it really kind of bums me out because once you start YouTube, you get addicted to the growth. You get addicted to hoping that people will enjoy the content that you're giving them. 
And everybody that makes YouTube videos, we all work hard. Everybody that we have a lot of editing to do. Filming sometimes it sometimes can take up to like 10 hours of your day, like just the filming part, which is actually the easy part. And and it really it's it's almost depressing when you, you you see something that you worked so hard on, you worked extremely hard, you put like 20 hours of your day into this one thing, and there's so many different aspects of that one thing that are exciting to you and would be exciting to your audience, but it's just not as popular as it used to be. I started this channel for scootering. I'm not saying that there aren't people that enjoy the scootering content on my channel. That's not what I'm saying at all. I know there's a huge scooter audience that I do have, but I know that there are more people on my channel that watch it just for my channel. And I know that I need to feed those groups of people. I, I can't just constantly do everything scooter because then I'm, I'm, I'm almost starving a part of my audience from something that they want. But I know that I can give my scooter fans all the scooter content that they want because I scooter every day pretty much. I know that I can constantly feed my scooter audience very, very easily. And I don't want this whole YouTube thing to be the easiest experience possible. Now, of, of course, you, you want your channel to get to a point where it's as big as it can be. And with the content that I constantly put up with just scootering, there is gonna be a cap eventually. There's only so many people that are interested in scootering and there's only so many people that would be interested in scootering. My channel will be doing very small changes here in the near future. Now, before you say anything and go down and comment some hatred things, just know that my channel will always have scootering in it. I will always have a part of scootering in my channel. I, I won't end up quitting, I can tell you that for sure. Whoa, Ugh. sorry. I can tell you that for sure. I'm not gonna quit scootering, it's, it's my thing. It's what I started to do when I was very young and now I'm 25 years old. I still ride scooters professionally. I still have signature parts out that I would love to see continue to grow. And I want to bring more people into the sport of scootering. And the only way that I can do that is to expand my audience to people that don't scooter. The only way to get people that aren't interested in the sport interested in it is to reach those people. There's no way to reach them if I just constantly feed the audience that I have right now. I need that to grow. Right now, I'm just really unsure as to what path I want to take. There's so many different things that I could do with my channel, but there's so many things that I don't really want to do with my channel to, to make it grow to that point. There are certain um, ideas that I do want to do. Uh, I, I haven't really landed on, on anything yet. Um, I'm still very confused as to what path I want to go in, but I have ideas. And a lot of you guys have given me ideas as to what you want to see from me. Um, you guys have said all kinds of things from um, the like I did a doing your dares video and you guys seem to really like that and I got a lot of comments saying do it again um, and I also got a lot of comments from you guys saying that you wanted me to do more guitar videos like singing videos and stuff like that which is awesome too I, I, I again appreciate that you guys are supportive on those kinds of things I just I just hope that really what I'm getting at is I hope my scooter audience understands why I'm not gonna be feeding them as much as I have been for the past, whatever, seven months. But I would love to still put scooter content up, but there's gonna be a few different videos that aren't gonna have quite as much of it in there. So um, if you guys get pissed off now, oops. For anybody that's a YouTuber that watches my videos, you guys definitely understand the, the addiction that I'm talking about. You understand that growth need that you have. For anybody that doesn't do YouTube, if you guys just scooter, if you guys do any kind of other action sport, if you guys just live everyday lives and don't really do anything that has to do with an activity, think of it this way. You work on something very, very hard and you want to see a result, no matter what it is. If, you, if you're working on designing a car, you want to see that car be built. If you're working on a, a, some kind of a math test or an essay or something for school, you want to see that you want to get an A, you want to see somebody enjoy that and that somebody being a teacher or somebody else in your class, whatever the case may be, you guys want to see success. And that, that's, that's with everybody. That's not just with YouTube creators, it's, it's with everybody. Everybody wants to be successful in life 
whether it be their career or a math test. You want to be successful. And I think that this transition that I'm going through right now is healthy. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that me wanting to start a new chapter of my life is completely understandable and there's nothing really bad about it. It can introduce so many new things in my life and it can introduce a lot of different things in my viewers' lives too. Like it could introduce something that you guys might be interested in that you didn't even know before. But I'm, I'm not for sure if that's gonna happen, but I hope that it does because I wanna constantly give you guys positive things. I, I, I wanna always have my channel focused on positivity, whether it be scootering, whether it be whatever. I, I, want, I wanna give you guys positive influences that you can use in your everyday lives as well. I love my fans, and I know that my fans love me, and I hope that you guys support the transition that my channel is gonna be going through in the near future. Later.